Welcome to a lesson on points and ordered pairs. The goals of this video are to plot points in the coordinate plane and also to determine the coordinates of points on the coordinate plane. To graph or plot points, we use two perpendicular number lines called axes. The horizontal number line is called the x-axis and we have the positive x values on the right and the negative x values on the left and the vertical number line is called the y-axis and the positive y values are above the x-axis and the negative y values are below the x-axis. The point at which the axes cross is called the origin here and every point on the coordinate plane is identified by what's called an ordered pair. Every ordered pair consists of an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate and the x-coordinate tells you whether to go left or right on the coordinate plane and the y-coordinate tells you whether to go up or down on the coordinate plane. So let's consider the ordered pair 4, 3. As we just stated, the first coordinate is the x-coordinate and the second coordinate is the y-coordinate. So to plot the point 4, 3 on the coordinate plane, we start at the origin and we move horizontally to the right 4 units since the x-coordinate is positive 4. Then we move vertically up 3 units because the y-coordinate is positive 3 and then we make a point. This is the point for 3. Let's go ahead and try a few more of these. We want to plot the following points. And again, I think it's helpful to think that the x-coordinate tells you whether to go left or right, and the y-coordinate tells you whether you need to go up or down based upon the sign. So for point A, and we usually identify points by capital letters, so for point A, which has coordinates negative 3, 2, since the x-coordinate is negative 3, we start the origin and go left 3 units this time, and then up 2 units because the y-coordinate is positive 2, and we make a point. This would be point A. The next point, point B, has an x-coordinate of negative 1, so we go left 1, and then the y-coordinate is positive 4, so we go up 4 units. So left 1 unit, up 4 units, to point B. Point C, x-coordinate is negative 2, so we go left 2 units, and the y-coordinate is negative 4 now, so we go down 4 units, to point C. D has the coordinates 0, negative 2. This 0 tells us we do not go left or right at all. We stay right at the origin. But with the y coordinate of negative 2, we need to go down 2 units. And lastly, the point 3, 0. This 3 tells us to go right 3 units. And the y coordinate of 0 tells us that we do not go up or down. We stay right on the x-axis. So the point 3, 0 would be right here on the x-axis. Let's go ahead and try this in the opposite direction now. We're given several points that are plotted and we want to identify the coordinates. Well, the easiest way to do this is just draw a line straight to the x-axis and straight to the y-axis. And we can see the x-coordinate is positive 1 and the y-coordinate is positive 5. So A has the ordered pair 1, 5. We do need to be careful that we list the x-coordinate first. So for point B, the x-coordinate would be negative 6, and the y-coordinate positive 2. Point C, the x-coordinate is negative 2, and the y-coordinate is negative 4. D, the x-coordinate, positive 4, y-coordinate, negative 4. Notice E is right on the y-axis.
Again, we follow the same rules. Draw a segment straight to the x-axis, which would be 0. And the point is on the y-axis right at negative 2. So the coordinates would be 0, negative 2. And lastly, point F, the x-coordinate would be 7, and the y-coordinate would be 0. Now we can check our work on the graphing calculator because the graphing calculator will plot points. So what we're going to do is go ahead and enter these points in the calculator and see if it matches our graph. The way we enter in points to be plotted is we hit the stat key, enter, and we'll enter in all of the x coordinates in L1 and all of the y coordinates in L2. And This works just like Excel, so when you hit enter, it drops down to the next cell. Now we enter all of the y coordinates. Next we will press second y equals and we need to turn on the stat plot. So we press enter. When it's blinking on on we hit enter. This first option here is to plot points which is what we want. We have our x coordinates in L1, we have our y coordinates in L2, and we can select the type of point we'd like to plot. I'll go ahead and leave it on this first option. Now to make it look exactly like this one, we should choose the same window. So if we press window and change the x min to negative 8 and the x max to positive 8. And the y values start at negative 6 and go up to positive 6. Now we can press graph, and we can see that this graph does match the graph that we see on this slide. So that's a nice way to check your work if you have a graphing calculator. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you and have a nice day.